Praise God, church. It is a beautiful day and you're welcome into the house of the Lord. We love to thank the Lord for this ministry, House of Inspiration Church, our pastor, Pastor Charles Casivanti, and all the ministers in the house. Guess what? It is the third month of the year and it's March. And guess what, what the Lord has said? You're going to get a full-time experience in all aspects of your life. Our program for this month will run as follows. From Monday to Friday, we'll be having morning rice service from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And Mondays, discipleship classes from 5 p.m. Tuesdays will be having evening altars right here at 5 p.m. And Fridays will be having overnight services starting at exactly 8 p.m. Saturdays, get ready. It is the Limitless Fellowship right here at exactly 4 p.m. And Sundays, we'll be having only three services. The first service starting at exactly 7 a.m. And the second service starting at exactly 9.30 a.m. And lastly, the third service at exactly 5 p.m. Important dates to note in this month are... 8th of March, which is going to be Women's Day, and we'll be having a women's service right here at the House of Inspiration starting at exactly 3 p.m. And 25th of March will be our inspirational school gathering, which will take place at the House of Inspiration Church. God bless you as you step into your miracle. Enjoy the service. I am Chivumbi Rehu Grace. Mukama Eva Zwe, Uganda. Amanya gange nze Olivia tweba zaka tonda olona ko olwalero mwe bale kujja tweba zaka tonda olaba sumba bafe pastor Charles ne Anika Sivante tube bazolo kutuwa omukisa okubera wansi wo buweleza buno obaddo chimanyi chirunje okubera omuchala mwe bale kuma bana bamwe mwe bale kuma family zamwe mwe bale kuma bami bamwe Na ba ntubo na bemu wangala na bo. Noren songeyo, tuba aniriza nga munana uroksa turwa wikeno. Aba sumba wa febatu tege kede olukungana mochifochino. Kusawa munana, nchidamu, kusawa munana. Muje, tusobolo kuhuli okuvelie abachala wa katonda, beba ise mochifochino kujo kuwele zeli obulambu wa fe. Happy Women is Day to all the women. May God bless you. Deserves the praise. 
Thank you for who you are. Thank you for bringing us tonight to come back in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody give God a big praise, the Lord. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, the Lord is good. Yeah, I believe that God is good and His mercy endures forever. I told you earlier on today, we are going to be hosting a man of God. And uh, we are very blessed. I told you that um, after his commissioning, we are the first stop, which, which I believe that um, first places are always very key. Yeah, so we are his first cut. First love, first place. But we're excited about what God is doing through uh, Pastor Roger Mugisha. Actually, somebody saw a post on my status and he said, um, and was asking me, oh, oh, oh. and I said, um, you come and be here. Praise the Lord. But, so tonight is a very exciting night. Most, many of you want to hear many stories. But um, what I pray that God will feed you, speak to you today, and bless you in ways you can never imagine. I pray that God will empower you and encourage you. I want you to raise your hand and say, it is my month of increase. Shout, it's my month of increase. The Lord will give you mighty increase. I want to hear you. Shout, Holy Spirit. It's my month of increase. I will increase. I will go further. I will do more. I will be more. And I shall achieve more. Do you believe you can do more? Somebody shout, I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things in the name of our God. I just spoke to a pastor from Ginger. This afternoon I was watching our main service from here today. And, uh, he told me, Pastor, I am also pregnant. I am expectant of something. And that word was my word. Everybody in this house, your expectation will not be cut short. Because God is kind. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're excited tonight. Uh, Mrs. Mogisha Maureen, Mogisha Maureen is also here. This, this one, this one we used to serve very closely together at Kansanga. We, we acted plays in our drama classes. We used to do announcements in church together in Kansanga Miracle Center. And um, you know, Maureen and even um, even even uh, husband were, were there with, with us so much for our our wedding. Yeah, and uh, so but tonight I'm very excited. I, I, I believe that one of the greatest gifts that we have rising up in our nation. The Lord has given us a chance for us to test of it tonight. Are you ready for the anointing tonight? You ready? Let us with all kindness, all love and all power and uh, some jubilation in the house. Welcome the man of God. Apostle Pastor Roger Mogisha.
Praise the Lord. We did many things, but I forgot to carry a hanky. The things God has been doing in my life, I cry a lot these days. Every day, he just, I don't know what he's doing to my heart, but I become softer and softer. Just seeing the people here is enough for me to start crying. I thank God. I thank the man of God and his lovely wife. I don't know how to thank you. I really don't know how to thank you because they did not shut any doors. I am a person who it would be very easy to shut a door. Sometimes I begin to understand why the man on the cross turns to Jesus and says with a very broken heart and Jesus gives him paradise. Yes, promises him paradise. I stand before you as a prophet. I was doubting. I was doubting. I even feared to say that that's my calling. But now I know for sure. And we come to support the ministries of the pastor. We have apostles. We have teachers. We have prophets. You know the fivefold ministry. So today I stand here as a prophet. I'd like to pray. And we get started. But I would request someone from the choir to just come and. I don't know who is. Who can minister to us? Oh, 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 yeah, you're right here. Praise God. Praise God. There's a song that has been going on in my spirit for. Oh, the last seven days, the last seven days have been something else in my life. You know the you know it? Can you sing that for us, please? Just as we minister, and after that we'll sit. And uh, I just want to inform all of you that the Holy Spirit has already started working. If anything happens to you right now, just glorify God. Amen. Holy Catonda, Holy to you 
Thank you. I want to say to you, oh, that's my second born son. He's called uh, Elijah. Elijah. Stand up. Elijah. Okay. But f- f- let me start by introducing my wife. Mrs. Mugisha. Babazi, you're most welcome. Thank you for being Jesus in my life. When I say thank you for being Jesus in my life, the day we got married, which was, the Lord told me, He just reminded me of a scripture that says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ does what? Loves the church. Whenever I have not seen Jesus, I turn to my wife and I see Jesus. And even if we have had a fight and I'm angry, I see Jesus and I repent. So our fights don't last a minute. We get annoyed and immediately reconcile because I see Jesus on her. And that's how our marriage has been moving. I don't know whether somebody understands me on that one. I was only introducing my wife. And I also came with my kids because I want them to learn the way of the Lord and follow me everywhere. Jacob Mugisha. Jacob Mugisha. That's the, and uh, the little girl there, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, wave to the people. Stand up and wave to the people. She's she's been a little bit okay. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Ha! House of inspiration. House of inspiration. My son will testify to you that as we were coming, I just said, look, look the word, look for the word inspiration. 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 Are you ready for a little fire? If, if you didn't come expecting anything, it's okay. You can go, people watching football, you can go and watch football. But they will tell you what will happen here. And what you, yes. I thank God for this man of God, Pastor Charles. He's the man of a word and a man of the spirit. Two things. When the Pharisees came to talk to Jesus, they were trying to tempt him. And they wanted to show off how much their master's degrees in theology and all the things they had studied. They were really trying to show him that we know what do you know. What are you doing? What are you? You're just a son of a carpenter. Jesus tells them. Yes, you error in two things. In other words, but you error in two things. You don't know the scriptures, nor the power of God. And the spirit and the word agree. If you never strike that balance, you will never experience the God of the Bible. So he told this these Pharisees you error in this that you do not know the scripture know the power of God I'm here to tell you tonight this is a home where both are honored now me I, I speak as a prophet and I'm going to make you sit so that I first introduce myself then we get to the ministry. Praise the Lord. Please take your seat. Turn to your neighbor and say the spirit and the word agree. Oh, the scripture is up there. Very good. Yes. Yes. You are in error because you don't know the scriptures. the power of God. That is what Jesus told the Pharisees. I want to tell you something that you have done that is very prophetic and very timely. There are so many other things you could be doing at this time. 
but you have chosen to be here. God is the reward of those who seek him diligently. The beauty about God's time is you never lose time. I'd like to introduce myself now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Roger Mogisha. A prophet of God appointed for the end times. Apostolic prophets appointed for the end times. All the things I'm telling you, I also had a problem saying because me, I don't like titles. But I was being commissioned to do what I'm going to do. Recently, I graduated from Caris Bible College. That's 2021. But that is not something I I'd like to emphasize. It was just something to help me attain a perfect balance in Chari, my spiritual walk. Because I had too much knowledge in the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm. That I really needed guidance. Otherwise, I was like a machine gun without, a, without a, a, someone controlling it. You are bound, you, you end up shooting everything. You can even shoot yourself. And that's what happens usually. We have so many ministries in Uganda. So many ministries. And most of them, when they don't strike that balance of the spirit and the word. They go astray. Very easily. Some churches which have too much of the spirit and less of the word. You find every morning the, the ministers wake up with a new doctrine. I can wake up and anoint a comb. And I tell you this comb. The liberty is up to me. But that's not what the word says. Because the spirit and the word have to agree. The scripture. The, the scripture. And, and the power of God. Have to strike a balance. That is going to be my main message today. But let me go back to introduction. Because I've been given... Uh, the great honor and privilege to talk to you. It speaks a lot about the heart of the man of God. And I really appreciate it. Most of you know me through media. I worked in radio. I have acted in films. I Uganda. What haven't I done in this country? I have been a manager. But the manager. I have managed so many artists. Managing artists Sometimes when I'm telling my story, I don't even know where to start. But I will give you in summary. So I was. Uh, let me start with the, the the more recent media things. Yeah, I was in, uh, I, I joined radio in 1996. Uh, I've been working in radio since almost 27 years. So, somebody may say, you're not balancing it. I will explain that to you later. But yes, I've been working in radio. I've acted in film. I used to even act a film called Second Chance more recently. So people see me. Then I had my dreadlocks. And they're saying, 
when people see me they say hey, what are you going to tell us really? kukatonda monaki na ye ebintu bya katonda biri very confusing the things of god are not straight i also ask him the same question sometimes saying amba na ye ku bantu bonabo sobola kulonda there's a game na machacho ronde somebody who's there and he says there's something i want you to carry nange katonda olumu mubuza ne mugamba why would you choose me there are so many other people you would choose in the church i try to resist him ngeza ko kumuwakanya na geza ko Nageza ko kumuwakanya. Nageza ko muwakanya. I tried to resist him. Nena andaga anti no. And he showed me no. The message I want you to carry is by you. Obubaka bwenja galo otwale gowe kai nzo butwala. So when I come here. Kakati bwenzi jawan. Please it is okay if you want to judge me. That is okay. Tewali buzibu osobola kunsalira omusango sikina ko buzibu. But I am also not here on my own. Nenga nange size wano kulwange. So Either it will be up to you either receive no recho chidi jori obotola o obochileka but wisdom will say naye amagezi gajja kugamba you pick that which is le ntitwa recho echicho praise the lord mukama yebazibwe praise the lord mukama yebazibwe praise the lord mukama yebazibwe so i have been in media na mbade india Midi, I mean midi mo. Mbadde mo maudire. Midia. Mbadde maudire. My story goes way back. Olugelo range lutandikira wala dala that I believe by the grace of God this will not be my last visit here. Ntinzikiri is already such a katonda guno suko gendo kuba mulondi gwango gusemba yo kubera wana. Cuz I have never really shared my testimony in detail. Kubanga siyo gelanga ko bujulizi wange bonane mbomalayo. People have small parts and bits and pieces of it. Some even picked and twisted. But I will summarize it this way. God picked me from devil worshiping. God picked me from there. And delivered me from there. He not only picked me from there delivered me from there he also washed and sanctified brought me to church and made me a process and a work that he had already commissioned predestined predestined say predestined now i would not know but i began to realize i began to realize that this god is who he says he is may i have seen it 2003 on the 2nd of March today is the word of March it's 20 years ago the Lord found me I was staying in a place in Muyenga I don't know whether if you're familiar with Muyenga there's a place called Wine Garage I used to live upstairs. I was in my bedroom when the Lord spoke to me. At that time I was involved in devil worship. I was doing a lot of things in that world. Because we have very young children here at some point. There are some things which I will be skipping. Just but let me, I hope you follow. In case you doubt anything, by the way, you can go and check. Whatever happened there is still on record. So there's nothing, I don't come here. I don't even benefit in any way to come and bring to be put before servants of God and all these people here I really don't that's not my place if you doubt anything you can go and confirm I'm not here to lie I'm not interested and everything in that I tell you I can confirm with real proof praise the Lord 
Most of the musicians you're seeing here, most of them do not even know where their careers started. Some of them know where it started. I promoted very many people. Today I'm seeing some who are still making statements. Roger is the son of I am they are saying they are children of the demons. They are children of demons. Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of that? Recently. Someone built an altar. Because he knows God is doing something new and releasing it. There's a whole fresh anointing that God has poured out. So those that don't believe in God have also been trying to build an altar. To build altars. To build altars. To reduce on the damage. To reduce on the damage of what this impact is bringing. The devil is now operating without gloves. He used to hide a bit before. But now he's shameless. He says, Let come what may. They are taking me. They is are after me. a defeated enemy. My, my issue of coming here is to just simply wake up the church. That is my mission. Just to wake up the church and tell them, listen. Don't let a defeated enemy try to steal from you. Don't, don't allow a defeated enemy to steal from you. So this big musician decides to build an altar. We call them um, concerts. concerts. Yes, events. But this one was not even hiding anything. He built a proper satanic altar. There were candles. The only thing that was missing were candles. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think he knows that there are people who have been praying in this country. There are people who have also been increasing in their knowledge and strength. People who have been combining the word and the fire. I thank God that now in our generation we have people who have the fire to declare and close down the territory and the principality. Before we were fearing yes we used to be afraid. Why should I start fighting bigger battles? But now we've reached that place where you can walk to a place and even cancel a concert. No gamba, let that concert not happen. Not because we wish them bad. Not because we wish them bad. But it's what they're trying to do in the spiritual realm. Is where they get arrested. So, we used to say, that man or woman tried to establish a very clear altar. They, they called them Nalubali spirits. And he started calling demons. Nalubali spirits. Okay. And he started calling them to come. 
he who has wisdom you understand what I'm saying may I never say names or places but when you understand you have understood and we are like how can we allow somebody in this day and age in a, in a country that has clearly said for God and my country to come and summon spirits right in the heart of the city and telling them come here did you know this one, I, this one I'll tell you as somebody who does events my wife is also in events my, do you know that if that event had taken place it was going to kill people I'm talking about the day it rained heavily because they had to do it again but they had to remove the altar and they had to build a new one and it did not have the other eye if you don't understand these things I also don't like talking about them so much but I thought I should mention something to you because me I'm here to do spiritual awakening and charge you from a prophetic office that is where it comes from I am an end time minister end times minister praise the Lord you know when you carry a prophetic gift our job is we we speak things that be in the spiritual realm and put them on the timeline is it making sense that everything pertaining to life and godliness has been given to you when does it happen in your life that you have all these promises of God when do they go when do they go when do they get into your life? That all the things that God promised you. So you get someone prophesying. And many times they will put it on your timeline. Said you next year. You will give birth next year. This is someone you picking something which you have already been given. They are only putting it on your timeline. Because God had already given you. I hope you understand. So there's a lot we have as Christians. There's a lot we have as Christians that we have never claimed. Now, prophesying is not that you look for a prophet. The Bible wants you to speak those things when it says prophesy. But some of us, we don't know when and what to say on our timeline. Do you know the only thing you can send to the future right now? Kambuze. Let me ask you. Do you know a thing that you have? in your future that you can send to your future we are talking about the month of March and the theme this month is about the increase increase but most of you will miss it because you said it but you don't put it on your timeline so there are those who receive and others will say I'm not seeing anything we are picking from the spiritual realm and we are going to put it on our timeline learn to put things on your timeline don't wait until they are chasing you for school fees. Start talking about next term. Talk about third term. So when you get there, what you have spoken is manifested. Praise the Lord. 
You do only. not get born again to go to heaven alone. I think most people shortcut. No. There is more to salvation than just surviving hell. There is power that we have to use the anointings that we have to use because you don't need anointing in heaven. You don't to, to, to do what? Have you understood what I'm saying? This is the reason why the anointings are left on earth. We leave it on earth. If you don't multiply your anointings and if you don't water up some of the go and vines of what vines of color cheap um what what am i uh you, you remember the story of the body that is thrown onto the, the bones of elisha the anointing was still on his bones because it only works on earth and it's brought back a man to life so we, we, we are, I want to tell you this today, that we have power available to us. And it's for us to use now. Not when I die and then I go to heaven. Heaven has a different arrangement altogether. They don't know your poverty. They don't know, they don't know your sicknesses. They don't know this. They, it's a very, that's a very shallow place. Money. You are looking for money. You are looking for no. Very, very shallow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can I talk to you about power? Can I talk to you about power? There's a reason why I want to talk to you about power. Because if you don't know about your power, some devil worshiper is going to come and want to use your power to make bad decisions. Because the gifts of God, the gifts and calling are without what? Repentance. In other words, if he gave you anointing, if he gave you power, he's not commanding you by force. That love him by force. You can still be able to make the blind see and all the miracles that come with it. He will not take it away from you. Because the judgments for that anointing and how you use it for another day. So you can backslide while still able to heal the sick. God won't take it away from you. Those anointings are They operate here. I may have backslidden. But tomorrow I can pray for a lame person and they walk. And they'll say, Oh my goodness. They follow me. And I also feel very powerful. But that's nothing. It's just a gift. Gifts and callings are without repentance. Now I want to tell you. And I'm taking you back to where we started. The spirit and the word must agree. That's how you know that you are, you are moving in the will of God. Haven't you read the scripture where people are saying, Lord, Lord, I performed miracles in your signs. I did this and this and this. And this. And he he says, says, Go away, from, go away from me, you are God. It shows you that the anointings I'm after get get you misused it. That was your problem. Yes, we are the The anointing I gave you, we are going to use it. There were tools. There were tools for you to use and live a smooth Christian life. Not qualifications. Am I still with you? Now I want to I want to get into the word briefly and I want to tell you something I probably will will uh well if time allows I'll walk around it but yeah. Um can we thank God you you're putting it on the screen. Let's go to Romans eight. 
uh, who helps with the uh, but before you get to Romans 8 the media team media team media team let's first do Jeremiah 1:12 katugende katsoke mu Jeremiah 1:12 Jeremiah 1:12 is there someone yeah? oh there is bless you Jeremiah oh okay can, can you change a version to maybe amplified or you osobola kontela amplified version Okay, even this is okay. Even this is okay. Don't. Mm. Anyway. Okay. Mm. Can you all see? There's something God says about himself through the prophet Jeremiah that I'm going to need us to really pay attention to. The other scripture I want you to put on standby is Proverbs 30 verse 5. That's I want us to go step by step and read this. Then when we go to Romans 8, you will understand what it means, what power is. And you're, most of you are going to be very disappointed to discover that you have power that you have not been using. Praise the Lord. Okay. Then the Lord said to Jeremiah, you have seen well. I am alert. Kubanga. Who is speaking? Ania yogera. Who is speaking? Ania yogera mchao wa nikiwa chino. When God speaks, please pay attention. Katonda bwa yogera sayo moyo. You have seen well. Mchao la biya bulunji. I am alert. Ndi muba gufu. I am and active. Eran sobolo kola. Watching over my word. Ngantu nodi le chigambo changi. To perform it. O kuchito kiliza. I do not want to, to be too dramatic. But this, I'm imagining this is how God would be looking at his word. And the angels are also on standby. Because if it's not performed, this is where power is. Because you have a guarantee that God is always watching his word. He's, He's not, not watching your tears. tears. He's not watching your tears. So your pain without his word. He's not seeing anything. And if you read in Psalms, he, he, uh, David talks about David talks about the angels who observe the word of God. If there's anything you have to take away today, first observe this. Scripture. He says, God is telling Jeremiah, I am alert and active. Watching over my word. To perform it. Now, how have you been living a powerless life? Because you have not, the spirit and the word have not been in agreement. You're either too spiritual. I tell you, something that happens to people who read too much the word and they are not spiritual. You start becoming judgmental. But if you're too decided, you Bob, become too. People that are very judgmental, they clearly show to you more and they are very much into the word. They start criticizing. Look at this. It's as if they don't know the like you become too judgmental. They have not connected to the spirit it, it is a delicate balance, my dear. Balance. You need to have balance in order to walk the line. In order for you to balance the word and the spirit. As you pray in tongues, you read the word. Otherwise, you will be 
you will go astray if you don't do me, that. Me I fell at some point because now I had too much spiritual knowledge. I na ino moyo munji nyo na nani manyi binji nyo moyo. But you scripture. Na enga sina bia wandikiwa bala. Pa, you can't even start a cult. 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 Kuma manyi we gali the gifts are without repentance. Because you have the power and you have the gift. Katonate ya biku jabu. Chirabu we chiri osobolo gena no gena kupaka no kuata kumuntua wa maso. You can go even to the taxi park and make the lights. Paka yonane kukobele negamba. And all the people will follow you. Baga mbono msaja wakatonda. Ati kuchachi yange tusola ke mbili. And then you tell people at my church we cut off air. No bafuga ngabu ya gala. And you rule them whatever you want. But you have not balanced it with this. Na yenga to balance inze na chigambo cha katonda. No waba. So you go astray. But the, the, the anointing still works. Because it works here on us. Am I still with you? Let's go back to the word. This is God Almighty. He's telling, I am alert and active watching over my word to perform. Let's go to Proverbs 30 verse 5. Let's go to Proverbs 30 verse 5. I'm just telling you, there we go. Somebody help me read that. Every word of what? Is tried. Uh huh. Let's read the first part. Every what? Is tried. Take me to, to, to King James if you have. If you have it, it still carries the same message. Every what? Buli chigambo cha katonda. Pure. Chitukupu. Pure. Chitukula. The most important thing you need in your life is the word of God. E chintu wa chisingo mkulu cho singo kwe tagambula mubo chigambo cha katonda. Do you remember the balance I was talking about? The word and the spirit. Okay. Yes. To work on on running one direction. Many people direction. Do not go to one direction over the other because you'll go astray. I will see you together. To the one more. Now I want us to go to Romans eight and I close. Kaka tinjaga tu gende kuvalu mi munana. Paul. Paulo. I think of all the things he wrote, that Romans 8 summarizes Christianity. Romans 8 summarizes Christianity. Paul in Romans 7 first tells you how he struggled. Paul in Romans 7 first tells you how he struggled. He tried to do everything with his own strength. Because he was a Jew and he knew the law and knew what was supposed to be done in order to win God's approval. There are people who to this day think that the power to overcome sin is in their hands. No, we failed. All of us. All of us fell and we came short of the glory. All sinned. And that's why we needed a savior. That's why we needed a savior. But that's not where I want to go. I want to go to a place where I am speaking to you now as a prophet. Go to Romans 8, 19. And then we'll go backwards to 14. Go one verse back. We can change to uh, do amplified. Do amplified. I'm trying to avoid the V now. Uh, okay. Ah. Nineteen. For even the whole creation, all nature, waits expectantly. And longs earnestly for God's sons to be made known. 
and disclosing of their sonship. Can I Yes, I believe that's what it is. Can I tell you something very interesting? I'm going to take you in a, in a two minutes journey. You all at least have uh, some have kids, some, you know, you've been around children. When children are born, what happens? They go through baby stages, right? After they go through those baby stages, there are things you tolerate as a parent. <laughs> she has suicide on bed. So you tolerate that. Because that's the stage. But then there's a stage at about, say, 10 years old. When the if they wet their bed, you are irritated with them. But move that child on. There are some things you don't even expect them to have a conversation. Your parent just looks at you and just walks away. Because at 15, what is this? And at 20, again he looks at you. At every different stage, you are treated differently. We go. Yes. Praise the Lord. Now, when Jesus was born, angels came to see this new new realm that God had created. Because it was a category, a new category. It is word becoming flesh. Remember the word of God is pure? Now it becomes flesh. It becomes flesh. The angels had to sing glory, hallelujah. Because they live in heaven, but they have also not seen these things. Behold, I do a new thing, the Lord says. So they are watching. They say, peace on earth. It's the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. They are telling you what this word becoming flesh is going to do. Are we still together? Jesus was coming to create a new category. These are people who are born again but this time in the incorruptible seed of God and he's creating a new category called sons of God you didn't understand he came to create a new category. Because the, he kept telling you, he was giving hints. He would walk. That unless a seed falls to the ground. But he was not telling them that I'm going to sow myself as a son of God and multiply myself. So that the children of God would be many. So creation to this day because it knows there was good news that came. But it's not seeing the sons of God moving to their places. But they are still on the baby stages. They are not progressing into sons of God. Because this balance is failing. If you learn too much, you go astray. If you go in the spirit, creation is waiting for sons of God to manifest. When Jesus was commissioning us, he says, go and preach to all creation. Because he was saying, all, 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 not to human beings. He said, all. That includes the creation that was awaiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So who are these sons of God? Romans 8.14 just go back three verses. Paul explains who the sons of God are. For all who are what? These are. You know sometimes 
I was I used to be a bit judgmental and sang a street preacher. I know Muzinda Alo, Abuli Dangiri, Nemo to Kazimu Ita Kospi, Nina Makatia Fati. Nadina Kansalo Musango, and Sadila Banababudi Dangiri Yokungudong, and Sangema to Kazimu Ita Ko, and I would judge them and wonder, why are they wasting their time? When will people listen to you? The Holy Spirit rebuked me. Omoe Wakatonda Nanenya. Do you know he said, oh, that even this creation also wants to hear the word of God? Even if the guy speaks and only the grass listens. I'm telling you, my eyes just opened and I repented. I said, I'm sorry, Lord. It's in the Bible. Creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. They also want to hear the good news. Because they want... They also didn't want when Adam fell to accept the punishment that was Adam's issue. It's like going to your home. There's a last born you pay, last born And they call all of you and they beat you because you're the last born. Why do you allow the kid to pass the So you're all punished. So you all get punished. So creation got punished. No, we turn the way we touch each other. We talk about our own desires. Adam's issues. Already, already, we are Adam. So when they tell him there's good news, creation is also waiting. But they've told us that there are people who have the power of the Spirit of God. Who when they walk, they see things that you only see. Who when they talk, the Word of God just. Makes healings and makes all the signs and wonders. Do you know a street preacher being there and, and just speaking could be the reason why you have a rainy season? It just becomes dry. But he was there speaking to creation. But when they leave, the, the dry season comes back. Goli wali ogama ni hemu sajio yobambi tako wanani Mukama, mukama, mukama When omu isa mama so you don't even know what is operating on him You despise them na henga tomanchi mutuma chiri kumula mogu You could be rebuking the very God that is telling him Stand there, te wali nkuba Habana akuli, habana akuli na But if, well maybe Gotoli wa miyoyo You're not going to be leading people to Christ You speak to creation O inzo kwe sanga katonde ya mutuma kukuo gele edibu tondo Obu mwetolo de Move on to the next Move on to the next scripture 19 Move on Let's go amplified 19 To get next to Uh huh next one Next one you need to understand something here For for the creation Are you listening For the creation Was subjected to frailty In other words They also didn't wish To decay a couple of weeks ago, people were celebrating Valentine's Day. Nekati when babu zabafu nebi mudi bidiwa. Abantu bujabu wede Valentine's Day diwo. Where did the flowers go? Decay. Ebi ebi mudi biya vunda da. Siba chidi. Isn't that what happened? Mavi cheka mo bukade. You put millions of shillings, but where are the flowers? Yes, frailty. Kubanga biya fudi webi na. Not because of some intentional fault on its part. Si kubanga ba bidi na chibi adi because e chicha mo butonde. But the will of him who subjected it to it. Neka tonda ya salawo. With the hope, tumble. Next, twenty-one. Twenty-one. That nature itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and corruption into the glorious freedom of the children of God. It is you that are putting the world on hold. Because you have power you are not using. A devil worshiper cannot command anything on you. Because you are the holder of power. You speak to creation. You speak to creation. I don't know whether I'm speaking to someone here. I am telling you, heaven has sent me to tell you that it is waiting and it has already commissioned you. It has commissioned you to manifest as a son of God. Stop the petty 
rectify it born again. That is peeing on bed. That is childish. When you're fighting, it means you're not reading. When you're fighting, it means you're not reading. When you're fighting, and God is telling you, move on, move on, stop the childish Machua. Mukule. Grow. Mukule. I'm looking for Become sons. Because creation is also waiting for you. Creation is waiting for you. You are not coming home. Heaven forth. is ready, you're not. Everything pertaining to life and goodness has already been given to you. What is your excuse? Those are the things that got me awakened. And I realized, I said, Lord, I am sorry. We waste time chasing the wrong things. Looking for, for fame when there is a much bigger assignment for us to become sons of God, oh. manifested sons of God. Oh. When even anything can look at you and see the God in you, it is a weight. It's a weight. You did not come to this service by accident. You are one of the people who needs to move to the next step. And then God will show himself through you and show you this is how sons live. People will start wondering. Have you ever seen that whatever Julie prays for comes to pass and they do not know that you are speaking from a certain authority seated in heavenly places. Far above principality. And you are speaking things onto a timeline. You are not ordinary. You are not called to be ordinary. You have the advantage of the Holy Spirit. You have the advantage of the Holy Spirit. You should walk into your office and tell your boss what to do. In spirit, I have been managing my bosses in my prayer room. But because I know I have that power, I, I don't have to go to them physically. I just enter my room. I said, ah, This manager has a problem with me. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I shall come brought higher. And the next day you go to the office. Person who was barking at you the day before. You know we are very grateful in this company. We have someone like you. They didn't know what you did to him. They don't know where you dealt with them. It's not witchcraft. No. I'm just standing in my authority as a child of God. Creation has to start witnessing the power. And none of the sons of God have arrived. These are the sons of God. But who are these people? As many as are led by the Spirit. Bible says, these are the sons of God. I came here because I decided to obey God a hundred percent and yield and even if I, I die doing this, I am comfortable. I will be happy because I will be like, at least I understood what you said. But Praise the Lord. Kawesa. Kawesa. If your name is Kawesa, just put up your hand. Kawesa, Kawesa. Please make sure, whether inside or outside, you please come see me before I leave. Praise For as many as are led by the Spirit, these are the sons of God. And you've already heard from Scripture that creation is waiting. This is what the Bible means by the good news that you are not just somebody who has been saved redeemed from darkness into the light redeemed into darkness 
Zikiza, nada mchitanga. Good, but 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 Jesus, Jesus is glorified. Chirungi na Yesu ayimusibwa. Jesus was glorified. Yesu yayimusibwa. But before he went into glory, he had made some prayer requests. Ainabi yali asabidde wano. Before he went to the cross. Ngatana bakugenda kumsalaba. He was in the garden. Yali mu nimiro. He asked for three things. Na asabide bintu bisatu. One. Etsoka. He asked the Father. Yasaba kitawe. And he was asking as Jesus. Ngasaba nga Yesu. Not as the Christ. The Christ he was already. Singo mununuzi nga Yesu. As Jesus. Nga Yesu. In the garden of Gethsemane. He has one. That restores he has the father. To restore him to the glory that he had before the foundation of the earth. Number two. He prayed for his disciples. He's in Gethsemane. He was preparing to go to the cross. He's charging his prayer request. And then he would reach that point where he's like, Father, if it is possible, but no, 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 no. But the Bible says that, but for the joy that was set before him, the joy that was set before him, see the angels that were ministering to Jesus in the garden, must have said Jesus, Jesus. I, I visualize them touching his shoulder and saying, Jesus, you know you're the only one who can do this. And they start to show him the joy before him. He says, Look, you're the son of God. You're going to be multiplied. And you're going to be sons. sons. If you as the seed don't die, will not have that category. It can only come through you. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, the Bible says. That is what he kept in front of him. Even when they slapped him and they beat him, he said, no, I am going for, I am going all the way. Kuba. Kuba. He's like, Kuba. Because he knew this is something the devil would not even touch. The devil thought he was killing the head. He didn't know he was planting the seed. And Jesus was planting himself willfully. That he may harvest sons. Therefore there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Is someone listening to me? If you have if you have attuned your spirit to hear spirit, you're going to hear. If you have not tuned your spirit, I'm just shouting on the microphone. You know hearing, spiritual hearing is different. I may go outside and I talk to a vendor. They can say something. And it makes me turn back and say, eh, what? what did you say? That means I have heard. You can also meet other people who are not, they're just listen, no, not listening, but they're not really taking in anything. Just, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. oh, it was nice. Yeah, how yeah. was the function? Oh, so was like, how was the service? Oh, it was nice, nice. Yeah, but, but, yeah. You were picking them just a few things, but you missed what was supposed to be yours. My brother, my sister, you came this evening because God has considered you worthy to be reminded because of your diligence to come what brought you? you that you profit in this that you start paying attention and be conscious that when you are born again God was not trying to look for stunted babies to inherit the kingdom but he was looking for babies who are going to grow and become men and heirs that when this earth ends their sons he can change to send to go and look after other worlds which he will create after harvesting us from this corrupted one 
But you don't send sons unless you trust them. See, I have two sons who are here with me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, but, but there's one I'll talk to about building. And there's one I can't have that conversation See, that's how we are spiritually. There are some things we are not getting because we are not allowing to grow a certain way. But if you allow to yield the spirit, you grow. Then you start to get the hidden. The hidden. God starts to give you information, revelation. Because now you're bigger, he considers you'll understand. Then he shares you. certain things with you. Am I speaking to somebody? You grow. Praise the Lord. We're going to speak to our timeline. We're going to speak to our timeline. There are things in your life which they, when the time came for them, they passed you. You missed it. The prayer I'm going to say with you is to redeem what has been lost. That God brings it back to you and puts it on your timeline. Some of you, the day you are supposed to be meeting the person you're going to get married. Your phone didn't have battery. And they thought, and you missed. <laughs> <laughs> you are not serious. Someone <laughs> bought the plane and left you. Do you understand how the devil keeps stealing? Or take a plane and left you. Do you understand how the devil keeps stealing? Or take a plane and left you. Steals moments <laughs> when you are supposed to be in the right position. Something distracted you. And you looked the other way. No. Let me tell you something, and this this is for those of you who are very deeply spiritual. The thing that makes you look to the side is your master. You don't turn your head unless you're ready to submit to the mastering of what you're turning to see. Listen. Moses is walking in the desert. And the Bible says, he saw, he saw a burning bush. The Bible says he turned. Thank God he turned to the right The same place. wife turned. Unfortunately, she had, they had been warned not to. So she harvested evil. And judgment right there. Listen. The distractions in your life make you turn your head. Be careful what you turn your head for. Be careful what you turn your head for. You turn your head for. Do you know that every time you're going to read your Bible is when you feel the most tired? That is when your phone rings. Say, you know, you're going to read that is when your aunt is calling you. Hello, hello, saying, oh, yeah, a buff. hello, hello, your aunt is swallowed up. I go, what? So you get busy. How could she swallow a pencil? We also don't know. Then you start managing problems. Hello. So go to oh, mobile money. You missed your money. moment. There was something right there. The oh, devil no, no, saw you were about to pick. Ko. And usually the things it brings are foolish and very minor. You may turn and make your calls. And then they tell you, mm, they but were you joking. Your moment there. The things you turn for become your master. I don't know whether I'm speaking to somebody. 
careful Make it a purpose in your heart Purpose in your heart That you will not turn You will not be distracted You will not be distracted By things which are not of God I don't think there is any sin in this world I have not committed That I never committed because the Lord washed my sins away. I'm a new creature. I'm a new creature. But I'll tell you my experience was so that I can share testimonies to help somebody else. We drank all the alcohol in the world. All the alcohol in the world. Had all kinds of things going on. But God reminds us that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, He's the one that gives you life. And He does not, He did not command or force anybody to believe Him. No. He put it there for you. But on judgment day, there are things that are going to judge us are very interesting. Someone will say, Me, I never knew there was God. And guess what will judge them? It won't be like they have taken Angel Gabriel or who. No, no. Your, your body will be presented to you and they ask you, Okay. Your body will say, uh, so how was your heart beating? When you ate food, were you following it all the way into your system until it comes out? Did you know how, how your chikomando became hair? Uh, no. Why do you think it was happening by itself? Then your own body judges you. Not on scripture. That was enough to show you there's somebody who must be doing these things in me. And seek out that person. God wants to be sought. He gives you hints. You see a burning bush. When you try to find out why, then you are seeking and is a reward of those who diligently seek. On judgment day, will, things will be judged, generations will be judged by the different things, signs that happened in their time that they did not have. Don't look on things here, look on things about. Of all the rich people I have seen, many have been dying recently. On their deathbed, you never hear them asking for their prayer. But nange TX mujirete nji kwa teko. Nji kwa teko saa mosu ya konomye. Let me touch my nice car. Nazi makan kwa teko chistering yoko semba yo. Let me touch on the staring the last time. Half the time, maybe into what you have now really seen. God has showed you. He has stripped you and made you naked and said, Ah, but you was ordinary. And what is most painful? If you had cast God foolishly, in your last seconds of dying, He shows you how people are. Are, are, are casting lots to take your things. You, you will see, your eyes will be open because the devil has to make sure he shows you. Are you still? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Turn to your neighbor and say, The Spirit and the Word agree. The Spirit. Omoyo and the word Nechigambo agree. Bikiri ziganya. I'd like to close by thanking you for making time to be here. And before I leave this pulpit, I know there must be someone here who probably came. Or even you come to church regularly. Sometimes you'll be surprised. People 
People can be coming to church but when they have never converted. Not because then but they just keep postponing when they are going to do it. Mm. I think I'll do it next week. You will even give excuses. You say, ha, Lero, Kichukuru Nayamba de Jeans is so sad. Yes, today I'm not dressed well for the part. My dear, na ye, you can continue postponing. Oh, so I'm not going to go. But there's one who holds your breath. Na ye, what do you want? Nani muka go sa? And that breath can be picked out. But if you have not yet, listen, what do you want to cross the line? What do you want to cross the line? There's a line there. Where the devil says that if he hasn't confessed, I will do two, three things. I will kill the person before they even cross. Because when they get the seed of the kingdom, I will kill or steal their opportunities or destroy anything about them. Because still kill, destroy. That is and the devil likes to steal them young. And not just stealing. If he sees that you have potential to bring trouble to his kingdom, he wants to kill you. So if you're here today, and you've never given your life to Christ, please, I beg you, I beg you, I want, I want us to shake hands in heaven and you say that that day I gave my life. I know you brought some visitors or there are some who are listening or you are right outside by the windows. You're not too sure. You're not too sure. I don't know what I'll do if I get born again. What will I do with my cigarette smoking? I'll become born again and they tell me you use your phone too much. You start. Comfort, comfort, comfort. Comfort, comfort. My dear. It is not, it is not you who fights that battle. It is the spirit in you, the oh, spirit of God, katonda, abeda, munda, munda. that will cause you both to will and to do. Ya jokulete, no kusala, wo, no kukola. You will lose appetite for things. O, ya kukenda, o, chawe, I have seen people ngori chain smoker. Mm. Ne one day na keran. Ndabi Naba, a, 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 he's losing appetite every day. No, then one fine day, then he gives up on it. I, some things will even leave you without even knowing. I still don't know how alcohol left my life. I don't know how I stopped taking alcohol. But I found myself just losing appetite completely. And that was the study we are singing. And that is where the devil used to attack me most. You get a free one. Oh, Merry Christmas. That know, is when the devil would packages. bring free alcohol. No, I don't drink this anymore. Shate, this one is special selection for you. How can you not drink this? No, 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 no. That's not me. That grave is empty. That grave is now empty. I resurrected from there. So our, our scriptures tell us that we should continue. Dio, uh, Dio to Romans, Romans 14, just the last verse and we're closing. How we get to the verse before. Bless you, I, I, I love this ministry already. I love this ministry. So, listen how this works. Already we have now we're going to see how we become sons of God. So if you live, how, you say when I look over, how will I manage? For if you live according to the dictates of the flesh, you will surely die. But if through the power of the Holy Spirit, you are habitually putting to death. Habitually putting to death means. 
chino you keep chifa. killing this chino, and you made it a habit ngochifula ne what the target nkola bo wali wa bantu amunga they are only seen kuemura there are certain people nge chibiche choka ye bidabyo nabyo naga amasha zao sisobola ne they cannot do so many sins but speaking of obscenities bode mutomero sokolire bimuvanga but if they are not by a bike you'd hear the words of the heart chikiro mutima afubu tukabigamba Sometimes you know, may not even be aware you had all those things in you. When you say habitually putting to death means bwagamba nti okutekemu okubanti mpola mpola as you allow the spirit of god abatachimu kuti he means slowly by slowly one day. allow the spirit of god to kill these things because you want change in a day you're not going to start stop smoking in one day togenda kulekela okunya sigala mulunaku but it will be gradual nechi ja kubera wo mpola mpola some it just happens instantly abamu chibera wo mbagira wo some it will happen gradually naye abala chibera wo mpola mpola but you will turn back one day ncho ja kuchuko labe olunaku lumu and you see yourself six months and say when the person you're seeing now and the one six months ago are two different people. Praise the Lord. So I am inviting you. If you have never given your life to Christ, don't worry. You are being invited. You're being invited to come and give your life to Christ. Enter eternal life. We're not just trying to convert you into into Christianity. We are inviting you into into the kingdom of God so that you may grow up to become a son of God. Praise the Lord. Raise your hand if you're here. Never given your life to Christ. If you've never given your life to Christ. Put your hand up. Gololo mkono go. Yes. The heart makes the confession. Omutima. You get the Holy Spirit will convict your heart. But he doesn't want you to keep it a secret. Because your mouth has to put it on a timeline. Kubango mumwago gwino kuchogera ne guchiteka mbiro byo mbisera byo. <laughs> okay. So can you get now to one? Let me speak to these people. Ngomo e wanunga mi. As the spirit leads me. Ngomo e wanunga mi. Naso kuita ni Kawesa. I first called Kawesa. Eh Kawesa jali. And then there is a Eh? Uh Peter you working on your paper wako yagala genda Canada. Ne abo bokolera ka bakolera ke bya passport. They have really messed you up and frustrated you. Peter, and you still think you're going to continue investing money investing money but Peter, the Lord tells you, you have to go to Canada and you have to have travel documents okola kumpapula zo kugende Canada na yaba kuyamba ko bakutawanya mukenze yo oyinayo buligo buligo kunyaga they have been robbing you go, people take your money and the spirit of god is looking at you and saying how you've never asked me omoyo wakatonda kutunia gamba ni ngato nebu zanga ko you want to do things by yourself oh ya gala kwe kolelevi nitu mumanyi go you want to grieve the holy spirit tonyi za moyo mtu kufu ask and you will saba but receiving does not mean that you will get it because your if it's going to destroy you you will not get it o kutola cheche gezanti bulicho sabo janga kuchifuna kwa hechi machi genda kule tele wetu sabamu zade he knows what is good for the kids because the one we pray to is a parent ama nyiche chokuwa wanabe if my daughter asked me for a pistol i would say okay mwala wange mwansawe mundu i've had i've had your prayer request nyo genda jiko zaji mwagamba mpuli dene ye what are you going to use the gun for and then i will decide whether you are mature enough to handle it or not no you refuse to answer my prayer no you don't need it those that have heard me you have heard maybe in your mind you are saying ha bino bibadde byama Osanga mbirozo byogamba this was a personal but they, thing. Nobody knew I was working on these things. So what you about damage? When now you I'm just telling you for you go chat it again. If I come out I'm not calling you out to come and we we'll get it into you. So they sent you out of the house. Those are very common things but the most it HS school fees They called you and told you that you won't go to school on Monday which is tomorrow. Encha if there's anybody here 
under this anointing. And you were given a deadline that tomorrow if you have not cleared fees don't bring your kid I'd like to cancel that I'd like to cancel that right now in the name of Jesus this is a month of increase this is a month of increase whenever something negative like that is said to you step in your place as a son of God cancel it and multiply it say that in fact we will pay fees up to senior six. Cancel it and multiply it. So that it goes into a timeline ahead of you. And the people around you will notice this pattern in your life. And they will say that God is surely with this child. This person has God. Let's put our hands on our chest. Let's rise to our feet, everybody. Hello? Hello. Hand on the chest. Do you know why we put do you know why we put our hands in the chest? Let me explain to you this. We put our hands on the chest. Let to you this. We put our hands on the chest. Because the very power that raised Christ from the dead. Is resident where? Gariwa. We no longer look for him there. He is for those of us who are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. So even when we pray, we whisper to him because he's here. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the ministration. Thank you, Lord, for the assignment that you have given. I know that many have received but because of the cares and thorns of the heart distractions around some may be fearful to move but if you're here and you've never given your life to Christ please say this Say, Father, I have heard about your gift of salvation. I now know that I have sinned against you. And that you have given us a free gift of salvation through Christ. Jesus, yes. I know that you died in my place that I may become the righteousness of God. This day, I turn my life around that you may become master. I repent and come to you to be my Lord. Come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. The old is gone. I'm a new creature now. For the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That prayer for me is very important. It's still a seed there. I'll know seeds. Seeds grow. If you're ashamed and you didn't want to come seeds up grow. here, it is a seed. Mala, it is a seed. Jakula. We used to uh, eat passion fruits we when we were young. We would also eat mangoes. Some places we pass now, we said, mm. "What is a mango tree?" Those that understand now understand. Seeds will grow. How they are planted is another story. Amen. God bless you so much, man of God. Thank you. Thank you. Clap your hands to Jesus. Clap your hands to Jesus. If you made a prayer for the very first time, today you made a prayer for the first time. The prayer of salvation. Don't be ashamed. Put up your hand. Let me see you. If you made that prayer for the first time today, you've never prayed the prayer of salvation. We, we want to help you find Christ. Put up your hands in the name of Jesus. Please come, come, come. Don't be afraid, come. 
sister are you born again come 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 don't be afraid i've seen another one behind there also you didn't put up your hand but i saw you cannot live here without Christ. The reason why this man of God came was to make sure that you hear these words. In the space up there, there are two people. Come. You made your prayer for the first time. Anybody who was given a deadline for school fees, come here and they lay hands on you. Come now, come now. Come here. Yeah. Please come. Is it your first night to, 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 to say this prayer? Come. Deadline, go there. You have a deadline, come. This is very important. Yes, they came for a deadline. You, you can, they can speak a word. Come on, May the Lord bless you. School. You know, sometimes some of us don't know this ministration, but when a prophetic word comes, the anointing is there to make a difference right now. So you're 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 agreeing with with the person God has sent the prophet is really important. So I want you to come. Perhaps your name is Peter, or even if it's not, but you're working on papers. Come and save your money. So come, come. God bless you. Um, school fees. School fees. School fees. Heavenly Father, when you commissioned me and sent me here, you promised that you're going to make sure all are answered instantly. You are the answer to all. I thank you, Lord, because all has been settled right now. I thank you, Lord, that they cannot even be sent away anymore. I declare and decree that they will always pay in advance of others. That even before, they, they will only know the school report on results and performance, but never about fees. And that they will have an abundance and multiply themselves and even look after others to play their fees. Because you're the God of abundance. You're more than enough. Thank you, my Father, for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Holy Wamani, Holy Wamani, Holy Wamani, Holy Wamani, Holy Wamani, Holy Wamani. Katundo wa fe Holy Wama Let me sing Holy Wama Everybody come on Holy Wama 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 Something good has happened tonight to you Katunda Katunda Holy Wamu window, Holy Wamu window, Holy Wamu window, Holy Wamu window, Holy 
One more time with all your power. Only one money. You know how you know Roger. It's going to talk to you about the satanic symbols and uh, how the eye looks like and the pyramid D. But let me, let me tell you something. What has happened tonight is more important than you hearing about the pyramid and the eye. Because you know why? You don't need to know the devil. You need to find your identity in Christ. If you can know God, you are okay. Somebody shout seven times. Now, the word sons is gender free. So, in the kingdom of God, even girls are sons. So, we're going to shout seven times. I'm a son of God. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Two, two, three, four, five, uh -huh. six, seven. That's who you are. And all creation is eagerly waiting for your manifestation. Let me tell you something I've had in the spirit. As a man of God ministered, after tonight, you're going to manifest. Uh, you will manifest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I shall manifest. Nations will know me. Creation will hear me. I will be manifest. I can no longer be hidden. My God, creation will be glad I'm born. Naluko Longo will be glad I was born. 
Mutundwe is glad we are here. Do you know since we came to this village, this region began to change? Because we are here. Schools have come. Look at grammar there. Things have come. Restaurants. This was a dead street. But because people who speak to creation came. Ah! We began to declare things that began to happen. I want you to understand that gospel of the Christian. You are the difference in your family. You are the difference in your father's house. You cannot be ordinary. The devil has nothing on you. You are more powerful than anything else. That God who turned around Roger's life. He anointed him the way he is. I will also serve the Lord. Praise the Lord. And uh, and uh, and uh, if the body of Christ, you know, people take long to receive people. I want you to know from this altar that we are we we are very excited to receive the prophetic ministry on your life. And I want to tell you something. With my very many years working with Christ and years of experience of serving God, don't doubt what God has told you. It, 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 the world will doubt it. Jesus, when he came, he did not ask the people, do you think I am the light? What do you think? Do you think I am the, I, 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 I am the bread of life? When you see well, do you think you, who you are is not an opinion of men? If God has told you you're a prophet, the world would know you're a prophet. Oh, yes, you see, my call is here. This is my call. I'm a kingmaker. People come to me when, when they're dying and I tell them where they're going. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, tell somebody in this house I shall become. You know, people not use. People don't use. People don't use. People don't use. It's not you who gives the anointing. So, you know, when Paul came and told the church in Jerusalem, I'm an apostle. You are the one killing us all. When did you turn into an apostle? A certain man had to come and endorse him. It's called Ananias. Don't the man. I saw him. 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 But you know that Apostle Paul did more impact in the New Testament church than any other disciple who worked with Jesus Christ. So, our role here, people like Roger Mugesha, of course he came to church a long time ago, of course he but had the when they come with the grace God has called them, and you know why God brought me to brought him to us as a first pulpit it's because we, we are one of the I'm one, I'm one of the people who God has anointed to understand that men can become what God said they can become I receive you as a prophet of God and I introduce you to the world all those who are watching us we introduce to you prophet Roger Mogesha Praise God. What a blessing for us to share the gift. And he's coming back. This very month of March, he has to come back. There's so many things he has to share. Powerful things he's learning from God. Tell your neighbor, I must manifest. Mugambe I got to be manifested. Oh no no yeah, I know Mukisa. I turn it so. Oh 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 oh
nga muogezi amina celebrity celebrity Look, look to someone and tell them I'm anointed by God. I want to ask uh, 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 Mrs. Mugisha to come and say hello. You, can't, you just can't. You just can't go without saying a word. Rogers Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord. We love you so dearly. Pastor Kasibate Charles. Pastor Charles. Thank you so much for receiving uh, Apostle and Prophet Mugisha here. I honor, I honor the God on his life. As, how, as his wife. I've seen God use him. I've seen a lot and transformation in his life. So many people will not understand it. But I understand. And I know what I see. I know what I saw. And I know what I'm seeing right now. The grace of God is abundant in his life. Whatever he tells you, receive it with love. He has pain to heal the broken. He has seen a lot. Like Jesus went through a crucifixion so that you can be saved. He's gone through a lot of things. God has taken him through a lot. Let's take this as a chance to learn and we elevate ourselves in the things of God. God is real. God can change. God can really change. It is not by power. It is not by might. But by the grace of God. Oh my God. I can't say much. Thank you so much, Pastor Kasimante. May God bless you and more. Uh, but do you know? I know how God works now. When God is to help you, He gives you a good partner. Something I've discovered. You know me when I learn, I did, teach you. Did you realize something? May God give you a wife. Every man who's in the house, may God give you a wife. Because one of the gifts there, she had all the opportunity of talking about herself. She has so many things to say. But she stood here and told us about her man of God. That is so romantic. Praise the Lord. That, that, that is amazing. Hey. I will see in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Can we hold a seat and give to the Lord tonight? Let's give to God. He's a good God. Tuesday, I'm with you on the altar. My God, I, I feel something powerful about this month. And then uh, when it's the women, we are going to be here. I, I, I am going to, to, to talk to uh, Prophet Roger to come back next Sunday, see if he's available. I'm telling you. And somewhere, somehow, maybe as he talks, he'll talk about the pyramid which you want to hear. But, but it's going to come <laughs> by the grace of God. Are you happy about that? I think he has already allowed. I can see him nodding. We are here next Sunday. But anyway, I'll find out if it's, if it's available. I'll find out. We shall find out. Because I know he's getting many invitations. Uh, I want all of us to hold a good seat tonight. You know what we do when we have visitors, we sow and bless and bless them. You, you help me give, give, give well so we, we, we can be a blessing. Everyone who has got your tithe, if you took an envelope, either 
this morning of Friday and you brought it back, bring it to our altar here. Amen. Those who have given 10k, please do it. God bless you. Holy 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 Katonda We are all giving up front come Holy one Jaulo Holy one Jaulo God's favor upon you Holy one Jaulo God's blessing Holy one Holy one Jaulo God's favor upon this mighty name. Holy one, Jaulo. God's peace on your heart, spirit. Come. Holy one, Jaulo. The blessings. Holy one, Jaulo. Holy one, Jaulo. God's blessings. Katona wa fe. God bless you. Morning rise tomorrow. Let's be here and online. Yeah, discipleship classes begin Monday tomorrow. And Tuesday we are on the altar. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord now and forevermore in Jesus mighty name the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord cause his face to shine upon you the Lord turn his face and be gracious to you and God give you peace in Jesus mighty name amen amen I'm going to ask the pastors the protocol to let uh, first of all Apostle Mugesha to go into the office with his wife and then the rest of us will follow. Amen, amen, amen. Can we clap our hands for Prophet Mugesha? Prophet We are very, very honored. Come on, be kind, be kind. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Holy one Jaulo. Holy one Jaulo. Holy one Jaulo, Holy one Jaulo. All right, good night, everybody. We love you. We love you to heart. See you. Katonda wa fe. Katonda wa fe.